All right, guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. So I had a medical emergency. Today, I'm, I'm taping this on Monday. You're going to see it tomorrow on Tuesday. But this, so this happened two days ago on a Saturday. Uh, I had a medical emergency, and I want to tell you about it, especially if you're thinking about living here, because it's really something you're going to have to think about. And I'm going to get into a little bit of the CAHA, which is a socialized medicine, a little bit of the private hospital thing, and, and that kind of thing. And I'm going to tell you my story, what happened to me, and what I had to do. So you can think about this before you're thinking about maybe living in Costa Rica. All right, so I'm going to forgo all the Travel Costa Rica Now um, travel agency stuff, but I am going to ask you, uh, I would appreciate a subscribe. If you want to see the videos as we put them up, uh, please hit the uh, notification bell. All right, so and just because this concerns my friend Johnny, who does the medical, you've heard his name before, the medical dental stuff, I'm just going to say this real quick now. If you're interested in any kind of medical dental tourism, whether it's implants, liposuction, stem cell, hip replacement, breast augmentation, all that kind of stuff, go to our website, TravelCostaRicaNow.com, scroll down, fill out a really quick form, and I'll get, over, get it over to Johnny, and we'll see if he can help you. Okay, that's it on that, all right? All right, so what happened? So... This really started about two weeks. Oh, I want to say I have the CAHA. I've been paying into the so, CAHA is a socialized medicine here. If you become a resident here, you have to pay, put in to the socialized medicine. They call it the CAHA. I pay $200 a month. That's kind of a lot. Can be more, can be a lot less, but that's what they came up with me. I have to pay $200. i am good with that. All right, I just want to, I just want to uh, I'll let you know about that. We're going to get into that in a second. So about two weeks ago, something happened. <laughs> I'm going to tell you at the end of this video what's wrong or what happened with me and what's going on with that. But if I tell you now, I think your, your mind's going to be distracted with it. So I'm going to tell you at the end. So something happened two weeks ago to me. And now I don't know if it's because I'm older. Or I don't know the way I was raised. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not scared of doctors or anything, but I do. I've always kind of done that. You know when an animal gets hurt and they like just go in the corner in a dark place and try to mend? I've always kind of been like that. Sometimes it works. <laughs> Sometimes I, w I waited too long and it, and it appears I waited too long on this one. Now, I thought it was going good. I thought I was rebounding. I thought it was getting better. But it came extremely apparent this Saturday be a pain <laughs> and some other indicators that it was not working and I got pretty worried about it all of a sudden you know I was worried prior but I thought it was going good but again it wasn't it was apparent I got to do something so before I get into that so the reason I'm telling you this story is because when you come down here, you're going to have to... Now, what if you're coming down here on a budget? Maybe you don't have any insurance. Maybe you're going to be a perpetual a tourist, which you come, you leave every 90 days, come back. You have no health insurance and you don't have the CAHA. If you have any, if you have any uh, emergency down here, what they typically do is they will stabilize you. What stabilize mean? I don't know, but they stabilize you, and that's pretty much the end of your uh, you're done. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to make your way. So that's what they typically do. Now, if you come down here and you become a resident, you're gonna have the Kaha. Some of you people that have maybe big time money, you keep your insurance wherever you're from. You get the Kaha. You can do what you want. Some people living uh, more on a budget, kind of like me a little bit. You know, I have the Kaha. So I like the socialized, or, you know, the socialized medicine is there, but is it always the best uh, option? You know, the, 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 lines, the lines and weights are a lot longer, and if it's not a true emergency and you need surgery, you're waiting, and you can be waiting a, quite a long time. I'm kind of an active guy. I don't know if I could wait, and that's going to play into kind of my story a little bit. So, you know, my Spanish is terrible. Um... I couldn't walk into like, you know, we have a Caja down here, you know, a office here in La Fortuna. I can't just walk in. I mean, my Spanish just isn't that good. I can say what I want to say, but I'm not going to be able to, exp you know, explain some of the things, 
you know, and, and D'Angelo, unfortunately, was had his own things he had to do. So uh, what did I do? I called Johnny, my friend. I tell him, I go, man, this is what I'm dealing with, man. Can you help me out? Can you help me out? And this was around, I would say, 1030 in the morning. Um, uh, he's, well, he said he would try. Now, it was Independence Weekend this past weekend, you know, so it was a four-day weekend, which also, uh, you know, ran into to a little bit of trouble. Oh, I want to make something else clear. Depending on where you live in Costa Rica, I live in Fortuna. The closest hospital is an hour away. An hour away. Not far if you don't really, you know, it's nothing big, but an hour away. And, you know, they have helicopters that can pick you up, but if it's raining, you might be in trouble. So they have the urgent care here. There's urgent cares. But what do urgent cares do? They're like just a referral business. If it's anything serious, you know, they're, you know, either going to put you on an ambulance and, you know, sh ship you an hour away to the hospital. So remember when you're thinking about where you want to live, for some reason, uh, Costa Rica hasn't really been good in that area with the hospitals. They have good hospitals, but they should probably have them in, in places like, you know, the Tamarindo area. They said, sure, it's time to have one here. There's definitely a need for it and plenty of people, but uh, they don't, and that's a cons consideration. So I told him what was wrong, and he said, let me see what I can do. Uh, I think he called me uh, maybe a, a couple hours later. And he goes, Mike, we got to look at, you know, we got to come up with a strategy. You know, he knew I, had, you know, I told him I had the Kaha. And he's like, well, how do you want to approach this? You, you, it sounds like you need to go to the hospital now. And I said, yeah, I've got to think I do. Uh, and, but, you know, here comes in money, you know, money. So, and, and the thing is, if you don't have a strategy for how you approach something down here medically, it can, it's, it can be a big money and time waster. You know, you could be doing some things that are just totally wasting your time, wasting your money. When, you know, you go to this place and they just refer you over here, refer you over here. And you're doing things, you know, it's that kind of thing. So, he, so what we came up with, he, he calls back and he, he found out that there was a place that did ultrasounds here in La Fortuna. And it just so happened, which this is a total lucky thing. Now, just because you do ultrasounds don't mean you can read ultrasounds. Okay, so, but it just so happened that they, there was another person coincidentally in the same place that was reading ultrasounds. And he, and he came out. He, uh, he, Johnny does not live by me. He lives an hour away in that place with a hospital. See, see that Casado, or they call it San Carlos. So he, he lives there. He came out and got me uh, around, I think, 3.30, uh, took me to this place, and uh, I kind of jumped ahead of everybody uh, in the line because it was kind of an emergency. So we didn't know if, you know, how bad it, you know, it was going to be. So we were just hoping this was the best strategy or course of action because we weren't sure if we sh I should go straight to the hospital or go to the Caja, which if I went to the Caja, that's now, now I'm waiting. I'm going to be waiting two, three, four hours. Um, and if I do see somebody, it, it's, all, it's almost certainly they're not going to be able to do anything for what I have here. So, so what the strategy was, I just wanted to at least find out kind of what was wrong if I could and what direction I was going to go in. And the ultrasound seemed to be the best bet on that now i got the ultrasound and i got the people to read it and i got my medication and so the consult they just you know the consultation was about 60 bucks the ultrasound was about 60 bucks the medication was about 100 bucks i thought that was actually pretty good now i don't know you know i don't know your world where you live maybe that's the most expensive shit you ever heard i don't really know um i was fine with it because i know how if i went to a hospital and there was other problems too. So he tried to find, it, we needed a specialist and, and like two of them are on vacation. One's not in the hospital, you know, so there's all these things, you know, that all these considerations and it just got lucky that there was something in my town. So what we just decided to do, Hey man, let's just find out 
you know, maybe what it is and if it's, we'll proceed from there. So, um, and again, he did, he did help me with my Spanish. When I tell you what I had a little in a little bit, you know, you'll see why I was going to be able to explain it too well. And, uh, he, you know, so he was very helpful and Johnny's always helpful. I mean, he came out of his way, man. Again, this was a holiday. He came out, came out of his way, you know, to help me as a, as a friend. And, you know, I kind of hate doing that, man. I kind of hate, you know, hate calling, well, it's not calling in favors, but just kind of asking because I know that he can do it. You know, it's almost like, I feel like I'm taking advantage in a way, you know, I don't really care for that. But then when he was also, we were all discuss, you know, sp discussing my options and he told me how much surgery would be. That was another, you know, he goes, well, he was talking to people and the, the surgery, if I, if needed, it would cost me between seven and $15,000. Hmm. Yeah. So I probably, if, if this doesn't, whatever I'm doing with the medication doesn't work, I'm probably going to have to go to the Caja. I mean, I can't, I'm not going to do a GoFundMe. I'm, that's just not what I would do. And I do have the Caja. So I guess I'd probably have to wait if there's a surgery, if, if, the, if surgery is going to be involved. So whatever they did with the medication and what they came up with, hopefully it, it's going to work. I'm basically on antibiotics and pain medication, which <laughs> thank God. So uh, that's kind of it. But the important, the takeaway of this is, do you have the money in an emergency? Do you have insurance in an emergency? Because a lot of people, I did fail to mention this, a lot of people, when they have something very serious, they'll go back to their home country and either use their doctors, use their insurance. When people have the Caja down here, they a lot of times are using it for more of a, like, prescriptions, littler things, I don't know, the COVID, whatever it is. It's, it's usually those you know, just kind of basic, I, I, I don't feel that good, you know, kind of thing. But, you know, if you have a, you need a heart stent or something, usually you're, you're not really going to, or most gringos don't go the Caja route. They probably even go to a private hospital here. But when I heard that I could be up there with 15000 and that's cash, man. That's cash. And, and if I could work out a payment plan, it would only be, you know, I'd have to be probably repay it within a month or so. So, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be an option. Now, I don't know if this, what I'm doing is going to work. So hopefully, I'm, I'm going to know in about two days. Because my testicles either going to go to its normal size, or it's going to be the same size it is right now, which is the size of about a small apple. There you go. See why you, <laughs> see why you would have been distracted? Anyway, guys, I would love to hear your comments or your questions. And people live here, you know, maybe your experience is different, man. I, you know, just because this was my experience is what with happen, is happening to me doesn't mean it was yours when you lived down here or what, what you went through. So if you have a different experience, please let us know, man. Please tell me because I, you know, people read these comments and I think they appreciate your, your input. And I know I do because I learn stuff from you guys as well. This is just my experience and and... Uh, I'm just crossing my fingers. <laughs> I'm crossing fingers right now. So I don't know. I don't really have $15,000. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Uh, you know, I hope it helps. Things are going to pop up. If you think about living or traveling anywhere, always do your homework and research. And if it's Costa Rica, hey, man, I'll put these videos up against anybody's.